All right, how we doing everybody? My name is Keith with Johnson Custom Leather LLC. And today we are going to be doing a uh, quick video on Sullivan Glove Company out of Bend, Oregon. And uh, I stumbled across their page a couple weeks ago. I was kind of on the fence for buying work gloves. Our company provides us work gloves. I do power line work during the week and uh, actually the weekend right now. And then during the week, I work in my leather business, um, making all sorts of wallets and whatnot, as far as portfolios and elephant, smaller wallets, different, whole bunch of different items that I got orders for on the board right now. But when this, uh, when I went to look for any kind of reviews on YouTube, just kind of, you know, to justify the price of these gloves, like saying, cause my company gives us gloves, there wasn't much out there. So I figured, hey, let me go on a limb here, test the little higher quality work glove that's gonna protect my hands a little bit better and, uh, and see what I think about it. And if I like them, I'll make a video. And if I don't like them, I'll still wear them, obviously, cause I bought them. And, uh, but obviously here we are making the video, so I like them. So without further ado, jump y'all around. Right here we have the Buffalo Roper. This is a four to five ounce, I believe and put it on my hands it fits nice and snug this is they're known for their form fitting fit so as what that means is basically the more you wear it the more it contours to your hand and really just ends up being you know a glove that's made for your hand so but before i bought the gloves they uh they recommend that you size your wrist or size your hand and uh i did that and i bought a pair of large which normally I feel like every glove I own is an extra large just because I have a wider knuckle. Kind of got shorter fingers, but I've got wide knuckles. So everything has kind of been a little misfitting when I step up to the extra large glove. Um, a lot of times the fingers kind of roll a little bit. So here we got the Buffalo Roper. Really like this color. It's, a, it's like a chocolate color. I thought it was gonna be a little darker but now that I'm wearing it, I mean, it's going to darken itself. And, uh, you know, after, I'm in Florida, so it's, I'm actually in my garage right now, and it's humidity is like 90%, so it is what it is. And these are work gloves. This is the nicest they're ever going to look. But if you've never owned anything in Buffalo, you can almost get lost looking at the texture and the grain about it. It's just an amazing-looking product, and these feel amazing, the the inside of them, the uh, rough out, also feels good. It's got a nice, soft, elect elastic stretch here. Just beautiful quality. And then I also bought a pair of the elk skin gauntlet gloves. Might have to flip it around in a second to give you all a better idea of this gold color. But basically, uh, this gold will remind you of like a deer skin. And it is a softer, more supple leather but it's gonna be better for the wet conditions that I work in. And it's just, it's just amazing. In the uh, field of work that I am in, we do skin a lot of wire with knives. So having this extra to go over our long sleeve shirt, this cuff will be nice in case the knife slips, you know, it's hot, we're in a hurry. Sometimes we get rushed and the knife might slip. But this, the elk is, the elk is nice. I'm a big fan of Buffalo just for the abrasion resistance and the toughness. You know, I've heard that uh, Buffalo is 40% stronger per square inch than traditional cowhide. And that's what kind of really directed me to this. Now, after calling the company and the owner actually picked up the phone and was super cool dude. And we talked, he, uh, he kind of led me over to the elk skin or the elk gauntlet glove just for this extra protection here and for the fact that I am in Florida and this is storm season and we get rained on daily. So elk has a good property when it gets wet and it dries. It doesn't feel flaky like traditional cowhide and it doesn't shrink up as much, you know. Sometimes when uh, you're wearing just cheap gloves and they shrink down, it's hard to, uh, it's hard to put them back on once they dry. But nice and supple leather as compared to the... Uh, the buffalo it kind of stands up on its own but 
Today's the first day I got these, so I can't attest for uh, how they're gonna hold up in the field, but feeling them on my hand is night and day different. You know, I mean, this is, this is such a nice glove, you know what I mean? I feel like, I feel almost like I don't wanna wear it to work, but obviously I'm gonna run it through the ringer and uh, really give it hell tomorrow. And I'll probably focus a little more on these because I'm really into lighter leathers just to kind of watch them patina, you know, as they age. It kind of tells a story in itself. But Sullivan Glove Company, my first impressions, uh, they nailed it. They knocked it out of the box. And uh, they do a lot of cool stuff, man. They've got a lot of styles. They've got some uh, amazing looking goat. I want to say there was some kangaroo on there. I don't have, like I said, this was an impromptu thing normally before i do a social platform video i i take little powerpoints so i you know don't get caught rambling but look at the grain and the texture of this buffalo i mean it's just awesome the fact that it was made in-house with u.s source material uh leathers and everyone's making it in america and they've been making gloves you know i want to say it said from the 40s i'll have to double check but uh, they're, they're awesome. They're form fitting, so they're gonna mold to your hand the way that a glove should fit, not nice and sloppy, where eventually the glove is what gives you blisters and not the work. So if you're wondering, wow, should I buy these gloves? Cause they are a bit pricier, 10 out of 10 I would recommend. And I'll probably come back in about three or four weeks and do a update just to kind of show It'll probably actually be out in the field when I do it because once these go in the truck, they'll stay in the truck. But uh, I'll do a little update and give you another honest review, and uh, we'll just go from there. So, appreciate y'all. About dropped the phone. Uh, appreciate y'all for watching. If anybody does watch it, like I said, this is my first video. So I just really wanted to make this to help somebody else if they were on the fence and they're looking on YouTube for a... Uh, for maybe somebody else's honest opinion. I paid for these gloves. They were not given to me by no means. As you see, I ain't got no followers. I'm not really here for that. I just really want to uh, test some products that I didn't see any videos on. And uh, that's why I'll be doing a video of some Frank's boots that I just ordered, some uh, a couple different heavy duty socks, and actually some Nick boots that should be coming in, in the next couple of weeks that i've been waiting for but uh like i said let me know what you think let me know if you have any questions i'll try to figure out how to put links in the description not really sure how this works but uh thank y'all and uh enjoy god bless